Hi girls, so today's the next day. If you see me weird, it's because I was in the middle of doing my makeup and I remembered that I didn't start recording the vlog. I came in a bike because here to come into the old Medina, uh, the cars don't enter. So there's like the Uber thing. It's a bike. So now I'm going up the stairs to the um, rooftop of the Riyab and I wanna um, do this video for TikTok where I just put my phone there and every day I take an outfit check. The phone is gonna be placed here. No. Not a good angle. Good deal, huh? You got it? From 15 to 10. I know I could go lower, yeah, but yeah, I don't want to push it. I'm I'm in the size of I don't know if I should go for this. Should I take this or this? T-shirt. T-shirt. Uh, I can wear a T-shirt. I, I can wear it on top of hijab. No, there's millions of them. I have cheese. Yeah. Why exactly number seven? Because it's the road to heaven, Where, right? It's the road <laughs> to heaven. That's what the man said. Yeah. So, we're gonna find it. Energy boost. Because I didn't take my iron pill, so I need bread. Ah, yeah, yeah. I want to try challenges. it so bad. Oh my god, it was my dream. I used to yeah, watch yeah, that yeah. and be like, uh, uh, I, just, uh, I would do it. I would buy it. The name so is. Easy. I forgot the name. But I used to watch it every day. We're going to go to Bahia Palace and the people from Marrakesh, they go for free. He's going to go for free. And I'm from the north. I'm Moroccan from the north. So I don't because I'm like a tourist. But he's going to teach me how to talk like I'm a Lakshi. Because. Northern people, we have like more of a sweet accent. We have more of a like <laughs> accent. And I also like I've been in Tulu. And I'm in Marrakesh. And I'm in Marrakesh. And I've been to Marrakesh. And I've been to Marrakesh. I'm gonna <laughs> shut up and you talk. Okay, yeah, that's that's a good. But plan. I, I'll remove this so I don't look like a tourist because a person from Marrakesh doesn't do like weird things. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. This thing. If not, I'll pay seventy dirham, which is seventy euro. So 
as you see here, the streets in the old Medina, they're very, very short. Not short, like tight. And this happens everywhere in Morocco that has like an old Medina. And it's always to keep like the streets cool because it's hot here. We were in the sun, it was so hot. The minute we entered here, it was so cool. And it's like there's an air conditioner. So smart. We're back in the Riyadh and watching a documentary on TikTok. Let's see who wins. I, I hope the giraffe wins. I'm team lion. No, I'm team giraffe. Like she was just minding her business and they came to eat her. Like, what, what do you mean? It's, it's life. No, okay, it's life. Well, I'm still young like you. This is also life. So the plan for the Bahia Palace uh, got cancelled. I'm going to go today, have a chill day. And um, so I'm going to change these clothes because I want to keep them for the palace. I think they're too nice to be wasted eating tagine and ruined. Today I'm just gonna eat, have like, do something boring. So now I'm going to have lunch at this time. Yes, it's late at night, but I'm gonna have lunch. And what's funny is that I'm being driven by bike to the place and I can use my phone. I was just like texting Dunya. I was sending her pictures I'll show you around as we go because the view is so nice there's so many people so marrakesh the old medina is all surrounded by a big wall that was built in the time of yusuf ibn tashfin who's the man that built the city the city of marrakesh and um, yeah so the wall is still standing and we're inside the old medina and that was initially the that was the um, Marrakesh and then after they built stuff around which is Marrakesh too but the original Marrakesh is this wh where we are inside it has many doors and back in the day they used to close all the doors I think at night or something yeah. what? at night they used to close the doors no they, they were open. but they used to close the doors ah, of course I'm talking about before so yeah that's what they used to do and it was it was nice like imagine you have your town and when there's like any danger or anything you just close the doors and no one can go up the uh, up the, um, the wall because it's so high oh my god anyways this is so fun it's so fun and by the way the name morocco as you can see i zoned out here but i was gonna say that morocco comes from the spanish word marruecos which comes from the native North African Amazigh word Marrakesh, which means the land of God. It's so nice. That's what I was gonna say, but I forgot. I love being in Morocco. I don't know why. I mean, it's my co my country. That's why. That's one. But second, it's just the vibe is better. It's better than any country I've ever been in. Like I just feel home because it's my home, but also because it feels like home and many people feel this, not just me. I'm so hungry. Um, uh, I've been living today on that triangle that you've seen me eating. Not even one, like I've been like biting from the sides and stuff. But I didn't eat anything since then, since what you saw in the video, which was in the morning. And now I went to Pajin, but he said Pajin at night, like, I'm craving it. I'm gonna eat this. Oh, so I came to have dinner in the old Medina. No, outside of the old Medina. And uh, we don't want any touristic places, you know, the cliche Moroccan place. No, I want like an actual place where Moroccans go and eat there. Not like a touristic cute place. Like, yeah, that's, that's it. I'm acting like a tourist in a place that's not like touristic, so I want to stop. Bye. So this is the food. I thought they would give me the tonji and I would pour it, which they didn't, and I'm very disappointed. But anyways, we're gonna eat. They gave us beans too. The after of the food. Are Those pots that you've seen, they put the meat there and the the onion and everything and the sauce, and they put it in an oven, a fire oven, fire oven. And it just cooks slowly and the meat gets like so tender. Yeah. So after this, I'm gonna have more food because I feel like I didn't feel my stomach I, on purpose. He ate, that's why I didn't feel my stomach. And now we are gonna go eat shawarma. 
and after that I want to buy strawberries and chocolate. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Where do I throw it? Got the strawberries and I'm gonna go find Nutella and milk. I think you have to put the Nutella in the milk so it can be mm, more dilute dilute uh, that. So I made the strawberries and now I am going to eat them here and then head to sleep. Good morning. So today I'm getting ready. I wore the same things as yesterday because um, I love the outfit so I'm repeating it. And um, I'm going to have breakfast today at the rooftop of the Riyadh. I'm going to go to a meeting. I have a meeting tonight with um, a person that has an agency for like the business that I'm working on and inshallah I'll keep you updated if it goes well. I don't like to share it before things are done because I have I've had a bad experience with that like sharing things before they're like fully done. It never ends up working. So yeah I'm just working on something on the background and you'll know soon inshallah i'm going up the stairs to have breakfast and i'm barefoot because i only have the converse and i don't feel like wearing converse we're gonna have a moroccan pancake <laughs> and uh, if i make my clothes dirty i won't have anything to ouais, take mais with uh, me. Non. Vers le vin, je commence euh, mon travail de Saint-Tropez. Ouais. J'ai fini le breakfast. Mon lipstick est gone. Et now I'm going to have uh, to sit down in my room, post some Instagram posts about the first day, and then I'll go out. This is my room. It's on the low, lower floor. Oh my god. I messed my bed with blood. That's actually so bad. I, <laughs> I'm so shy. I know the, there's a cleaning lady, but I don't like it when there's like a blood stain. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I'm gonna clean it and then yeah i don't like i feel so bad when someone has to clean after me like even if it's in a hotel it's like no i'll do it so i try to leave everything perfect before i leave so there's like nothing to do like even my bed i i do it a bit <laughs> but i think i'm giving her more work because she has to remove it and do it her way when i fully get dressed and i have to do like just details i leave my door open because there's no guests there i mean there's a guest here next to me He's a French man. When I was having breakfast in the rooftop, um, we talked a bit. Like he asked me where are you from and stuff. I think the host told him that I have followers on social media and stuff, and he just asked him if I can promote his friend's uh, restaurant. They have a very big restaurant here, and um, I'm invited for dinner. So I'm gonna have free dinner. <laughs> I honestly, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I'm so shy to like approach businesses and stuff or like restaurants for a collaboration or like to eat for free. Like I don't like that. Even if I can actually do it because so many influencers do this, I don't do it. But this time like I got invited, like I didn't even have to do anything with this. So Adil, what did he do? What did he do? Yeah, get me into? I did, I did some business. There's like this guest in the Riyadh. So I like know him and stuff and like he I told him about Fatima and like she has like 400k's on Instagram and yeah he told me that he, he has like a friend and she owns or like manages I'm not really sure like uh, this restaurant I have like the opportunity to do all of these free things I'm, I'm shy I know it's dumb like people would do it 
but I just feel shy to go and like do free things when everyone pays. <laughs> and if you're wondering why is I with me again, it's because I need slippers. I'm wearing heels because I don't feel like wearing my Converse. It's like so annoying. So he's gonna take me to a suit. So I got this jalebi for 190 dirhams. I bargained 600 down. And uh, I'm gonna go to Taylor so I can get it myself. So I tried this set. It's not a set, it's just like the pants and this. But I feel like mm, it's not the same color. Can you zoom? Do you see the difference of color? Take no take. Hi, so I changed into white ones and the pants, they're so funny because they come like this, like weird. And what you do is you tie them here in front. Look. I've seen so many tourists wearing these and I haven't seen these pants any freaking way. This whole set it costed me 15 euro. Perfect. I love it. I'm taking it. I look happy. I came to buy strawberries again. The strawberries are washed, but what's the worst thing that can happen to me? So delicious. So I came to the gold place because I have my ring from my ex and I want to sell it because as we were moving homes, I don't know if you guys know, but I moved homes and um, I found this that I didn't throw. So since I'm here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it and use that to have dinner. <laughs> Actually, no, today I'm invited for dinner, so we'll donate it. So we sold the ring for 55 euro, 550 dirham. We're rich here, we're rich. Hi guys, so we came to the Dahiya Palace to show them why we moved. And it's closed because they're doing this. They're filming a show, a movie or something. And I'm showing you this as proof because I don't want you to think that I'm lazy and I didn't come here. So yeah, it wasn't meant to be today. So I officially had my first fight in Marrakesh with an old man. It's not old, he was annoying. And uh, a man was trying to sell us something and we were like, no thank you. Because I always say no thank you instead of like leaving them on scene. And the other, the, this old man he was like, he wasn't talking to you anyways. And I was like, he was talking to me. and. 
we were respectful and he was like like he kept like screaming at us and telling us things and I was like we're not tourists you're not gonna treat us like that if you're in Morocco and you have like this uh, big head we have it bigger <laughs> and that's what happened and um, Adil held me he was like no no don't fight just let's go so yeah